Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. So I believe that Scorpio, like I mentioned with Gemini, are the two most misunderstood energies in the Zodiac and Aquarius. Let me not forget Aquarius and Pisces. Yes. Um, Most misunderstood energies of the Zodiac. So when it comes to Scorpio, so I'm a Scorpio sun with Scorpio stellium. And one thing that is super annoying to me, like a friend of mine is always sharing memes with me and all of them is always about how mean and just dark and horrible Scorpio is. And it's like the memes are not mean. They're meant to somewhat liberate me, you know, for me to feel proud about these things that are being said about Scorpio when, you know, it annoys me because basically it shows me how misunderstood Scorpios are. Like, first of all, Scorpio energy, Scorpios are super sensitive, very similar to cancer energy. Just like cancer energy, Scorpio energy is like what you see when you look at the scorpion is the shell, the the exoskeleton. So that's like you seeing a soldier and all you're seeing is the armor. When in all reality, what's under that armor is a very fleshy, soft, delicate, fragile body. And from childhood, Scorpios learn to basically develop their armor and wear it. And if you ever get to see a Scorpio without their armor, that is because basically the Scorpio has observed you and tested you and find that you deserve to see them in their most vulnerable state. And some people don't realize that they could be friends and you might call yourself a friend of the Scorpio, but in the Scorpio's mind, you are just a constituent. You are an associate, you know, because if you are a friend, then you get to see what the Scorpio looks like naked, you know, without that hard exterior. And without that hard exterior, you'll know that you'll know that the Scorpio is super, super sensitive, super caring, super warm, super emotional. And it's crazy because, you know, these memes and things will have Scorpios looking like such savages. And yes, like, don't get it twisted. A Scorpio can be a savage if necessary because Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. Mars is the god of war. So this is where, you know, after being hurt or whatnot at childhood, after being disappointed and betrayed, because a Scorpio is first betrayed by one of their parents and through the betrayal is where Scorpio basically starts seeing the world for what it is and not through rose colored glasses. So with Scorpio being ruled by Mars and Pluto, Mars is the god of war and Pluto represents death. So Scorpio doesn't fear ending, Scorpio doesn't fear death and Scorpio doesn't fear war. And that's what makes Scorpio the most powerful sign of all the zodiac signs because everyone fears death. And death is something that Scorpio realized from an early age that everything comes to an end to the point that Scorpios anticipate ending because they know things will come to an end. So when something seems to be too good to be true, when it comes to an end, the Scorpio feels relief because finally I've been anticipating this ending and finally it's here. Where in personal relationships, whenever you and a Scorpio get into it and you guys can overcome you know, that fight and that disagreement and, and still stick together, that's you passing one of the Scorpio's tests. That's you climbing to the next level, evolving. So even though Scorpio is this warrior that's not afraid of death, that doesn't mean that that's all this Scorpio is because Scorpio would like more than anything to be to feel safe with someone 
to be able to take their armor off. Imagine every day you're in this armor. You know, it's not comfortable. It's hot. It's stiff. You know, like more than anything, you would love to just take it all off and be comfortable so you can feel the air flowing against your skin so that you can touch your skin, you know, so that basically you can cuddle up next to someone else. But one thing most people don't understand is that like Scorpio sees everything. Scorpio feels everything because Scorpio energy and Scorpio being so psychic and intuitive and the water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. To me, Scorpio energy is like, imagine you're sitting in the swimming pool and you're the only one in the pool and the water is super calm. And I guess this is Scorpio energy. This is Scorpio. I said Pisces, Cancer, but no, I'm focus focusing on Scorpio here. So you're sitting in a swimming pool and the water is super calm. And basically you're the only one in the water so you can see you know you, you just you're the only one in it the temperature is consistent you know what's going on whenever someone steps into the water you can feel the shift of vibration the shift in temperature so whenever someone gets into the scorpio's um field you know, whether you're in a Scorpio's presence or you're thinking about a Scorpio, especially a Scorpio who has developed their intuition and calmed their mind, a Scorpio can feel when you're thinking about them. A Scorpio can feel the energies that you're projecting towards them because most people don't realize that that's how tele telepathy works. When you're imagining someone in front of you, whatever emotions you're thinking when you're imagining them you're sending that to them so a scorpio can feel how a person really feels and what a person really thinks about them even though that person might be smiling and saying one thing but thinking something totally different and a scorpio learned this from being a child because when the scorpio was first wounded or after being wounded so many times and it hurting so badly, the Scorpio realized the importance of survival and how the best way for them to survive is to be in control of everything and anything that has anything to do with it. So this is where Scorpio's possessive and controlling nature comes from. So with the Scorpio, you know, controlling its reality, this is why Scorpios tend to be astrologers and things like that. Like I was talking to another Scorpion who's probably watching this. Hey, you know who you are, Scorpio with Jupiter and Leo. We were having a conversation and I was saying how, you know, how did you get into learning about astrology? And this person was saying they didn't know. And I'm, I was saying with your Scorpio energy, more than likely it was to be in control. You know, because as Scorpios, we study everyone and anything and they don't even know they're being studied. They don't even know they're being watched. They don't even know they're being tested while we're testing them. You know, and this is all a part of us being in control of our reality by seeing you before you see us. And this is where the whole Mars energy comes in because Scorpio is that sniper. Scorpio is that military person that comes in during the night when it's dark this is the police raiding you like at two in the morning after watching you and knowing your every single move so basically people when they think that they've come into the scorpio's radar they don't even realize that scorpio's been had their eye on you scorpio already know who you are scorpio already knows you can't be trusted and when it comes to Scorpio's power and possessiveness, like a Scorpio, like say, for example, a Scorpio will have a sexual experience with someone and basically get a kick out of knowing that when you think about sex, you have to think about Scorpio. This is where Scorpio will give you the best experience you've ever had because this is truly possessing someone where every time you think of this thing, you have to think about the Scorpio. Every time you go on a road trip, you think about the Scorpio because the best road trip experience you've ever had was with the Scorpio. You know, so this is where the whole possession and control thing comes in. But Scorpios being so private and mystique, like, you know, from an early age, Scorpios learned that the more people know about you, the more insignificant you become. So this is where Scorpio learns to like 
keep secrets and keep themselves secretive because they know that once someone has discovered everything, you matter no more. So when people see Scorpios as being cold and distant and whatnot, and another thing with Scorpio being the most loved or hated zodiac sign, Scorpio is definitely the most popular, loved or hated. And I feel like you hate a Scorpio because at one point you probably tried to control and possess the Scorpio and it didn't work. Or maybe you didn't realize that you're being manipulative and the Scorpio saw straight through you to you and did not fall into the web that you may have not realized that you were weaving. Like a friend of mine who always sends the memes, you know, had a situation with a Scorpio where the Scorpio, it was just not a good situation. And I try to show the friend all the time that like, this person never gave in to you because if they gave in, you would have only gotten bored. And this friend agrees that they would have only gotten bored if the, if the Scorpio had uh, given in. But at the same time, it drives them crazy that the Scorpio didn't get give in. But the Scorpio stood back and assessed the situation from a bird's eye view. And this is how Scorpio is also associated with the Phoenix rising from the ashes because with Scorpios, we're good under pressure. We are good under pressure. We're ruled by Mars and Pluto, death and war. So the Phoenix energy, bird's eye view, stands back and sees this, assess the situation from a distance and understands it completely and knows exactly who they are dealing with. So if you've been rejected by a Scorpio, more than likely, you know, you probably didn't realize that, yes, there are probably some things within you that you probably aren't aware of that the Scorpio saw as a threat, that the Scorpio saw as something that, like, look at it this way. With the Scorpio's body being so fragile and sensitive to where it's always in an armor, it's like the Scorpio is a soldier. So when the Scorpio is sleeping next to someone they don't trust, they always got their gun on them. So the Scorpio ideally would love to be with someone who they can take the armor off and sleep naked with, comfortable with, without having their gun on them. So, you know, if a Scorpio rejected you or kept you at a distance, that's because they never felt like they can you know, get naked around you. You you pose as some kind of threat. And a lot of the times as people, you know, we can't completely see ourselves. And that's why I love psychology and what I do on this channel and on my website and my personal services because through self-awareness and me understanding myself and the dark shadow aspects of myself, I'm able to understand it in other people. And Scorpio can see things that people are hiding and the dark shadow aspects of other people, even when they are unaware of these things within themselves. Because a lot of the times things play on a subconscious level and they are influencing our lives and we don't realize it. But Scorpio can tell. And the thing with energy and, tel and telepathy is what we don't realize is, like I mentioned, being in the swimming pool and you step in and the Scorpio can tell someone is there and exactly what's going on. When you're trying to hide something from a Scorpio, they can easily tell because just for the simple fact that you're putting energy on this thing that you're trying to keep secret and amplifies it and puts a spotlight on it and Scorpio sees it. So Scorpio energy is misunderstood for being so cold and detached. And yes, that is a part of who Scorpio has become from the pain, but that's not who Scorpio wants to be. You guys, if you are still here with me, please, I would, you guys, if you're still here with me, I would love to know, please drop me a black heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.